What's going on guys? This is Yes I Read That and today I am reviewing Brandon Sanderson's second Mistborn book, The Well of Ascension. Uh, first of all, I have to be honest and say I did not like it as much as I liked the first book. But why? I'll get into that now. And this book has still been good. I just didn't like it as much as the first one. It was still a great book though. So overall what I liked about the book is that the plot was continued pretty well. Like the first book could have been a standalone but it still continued very well. Overall I will say now I will spoil things from book one so if you didn't read the first book then maybe you can check out that review and in the second half of this review I will also spoil things that happen in this book so make sure to tune out if you don't want to get spoiled and still want to read it because there are some interesting twists again. So overall it's still the same story. Uh, the protagonist is now Vin and also Elend who is now become king of the uh, central dominance is how they call it so basically he's now ruling Luthadel. The current situation is that Luthadel is being threatened by two armies. One is the army of Elend's own father, Strap Venture, and the other one is by Set, a man we don't really know yet, but we get to know him in the book. And this is pretty much everything that uh, happens in the book. They are trying to deal with these armies, they are trying to actually secure the kingdom, and well, everything is going a bit offhand because they did indeed defeat the Lord Ruler, but now the whole stability, they had hundreds of years of stability and now it's all gone. So that's what they're currently struggling with. What I really liked about this book is that the Ferromancy, the second type of magic in the series, is getting a lot more depth. In the first book we got introduced to Ferrochemy rather late and in this book it's getting a lot more use because we also see more uh, more used by Seist, we also get to know the character Seist a lot better. And I think it's really good. I think that makes the book a lot better. And the other thing I really liked is we get more engaging characters. This is actually something I criticized in book one. So what characters are more engaging? We actually do get a few new characters that are really engaging. Um, we get a Kanra, which is the servant that actually can take the form of any human, um, the one who played the Lord Valet in the first book. He was a really interesting character in my opinion because he and Vin didn't get together very well in the beginning, but their relationship changes and we actually have some good character development. So something that's really been improved that I actually criticized in book one but, well, there's also some stuff I didn't like. So, what did I not like? The first hundred pages of the book were a drag for me. Why? Because there's a lot of repetition of old information. And I think that's just plain wrong. You shouldn't do it, in my opinion. Why? For new readers, this doesn't work. If you don't understand those core concepts of magic in this book, you won't understand anything. And if you have read this book, like if you have read the first book, you will understand them anyways. So why explain everything again? Well, so the first hundred pages were a bit of a drag for me. It was still okay, but I just don't like repetition. I don't need a recap. The second thing is, there's been a lot more political intrigue than even in the first book. I mean, I liked it. It was good. But it was even more, it was almost the entire book was just being political intrigue. And for me that was a bit too much, which is probably the reason why I didn't like it that much. But uh, if you like, like, if you are into political intrigue, you will like it. I, I can assure you. <laughs> um, the third thing I didn't really enjoy is there was not too much going on in the story. Uh, maybe the pacing is a bit bad for this book. The whole situation with Luthadel being threatened by two armies, well, it never changes. That's all there is in the book and in the end it gets resolved. So <laughs> there's not much going on. 
there's a lot of political intrigue, there's new fighting and uh, well, it's good but there's not much going on in my opinion. We get some great world building in this book. Uh, that's, that's one thing I really liked as well. We get to know a lot more ferrochemy as I already said. I really liked it. We get new metals. Well, we finally get to know what aluminium is and then another metal is discovered which basically flashes the entire magic of one metal in a second and you get to use some new creative abilities. I mean, I love the magic system in this one. It's amazing. And I still think it's really great. The fights are so creative, so good. That's the thing that really sells the book for me. It's, it's amazing. And the other thing is we get the deepness, we get to know what it is, then we get the Chandra, we get to know a bit more about them, we get the Coloss, which is a new race of, like, the Lord Ruler created them, and I think that's interesting and good world building. So, yeah, the world is definitely still one of the main things that I really enjoy. The char characters, I said this before, in the first book I criticized that the characters are not deep enough. In this book they were really good. I think Seist is a great character. I really enjoyed his development, his passages. But yeah, uh, as I said, much better. Very intriguing characters in this book. The third thing, the story, as I said, it's not as engaging as the first book. That's just my opinion. Um, everything is still dominated by Luthadel. Um, there are still some twists, that's for sure, but there's not as much going on as in the first book. So overall, I will give this book a 7 out of 10, because it is a good book. Don't be fooled, this is great. It has a few minor problems. I think the story was a bit lacking, but it's still a great book. It has great characters, it has a great magic system, and I highly recommend it. So now let's get into the spoiler section. If you actually want to read the book, please turn the video off now. I highly recommend it and I will now spoil a few things in the book. Or sir, again, this Kandra, the Kandra that ate the wolfhound body, I really enjoy this character. And the twist in the end that he is actually not serving her, but he is serving another misborn, Zane. Who, by the way, Zane, what an incredible character as well. Like, an insane character? Wow, I really, these characters are intriguing. And I just really enjoyed reading about it, reading about his relationship with Vin and the final development that he actually breaks the contract. Or we are not sure if he breaks it, but I think it's implied that he breaks it. And, well, I really enjoyed it. The second thing is Seist and his Ferrochemy, but also that Seist fights, and his fights are really amazing. I mean, uh, getting lighter, getting heavier, using the stored up power or speed, I think that was great. Seist and Tindwill was a really interesting relationship as well, later in the book. I enjoyed the passages of them deciphering the rubbing, it, I think it was great. What also underwhelmed me a bit was the ending. I just, I mean, on the one hand, wow, suddenly a land is an Alamancer and uh, something is free, but on the other hand it just felt a bit lackluster, like, maybe I expected more. The thing I liked is how the situation with the Colossus got resolved, because that was actually a great twist. I also liked that Lord Chat, his, his political maneuvers, I think that was interesting, but I still don't think that it matches what the first book offered. I really hope that the third book can offer a great ending though and I think the pacing should be a lot better in the third book because it obviously finalizes this trilogy and I will definitely still read it and review it. Still recommend reading this one if you are on the fence. It's a good book. It's just got some small problems and even if it's not as good as the first book, the first book was so great that it's hard to match. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Uh, and if you did read this book, please leave your opinion in the comments or leave your opinion about the book you're currently reading. I'm always interested. So thank you so much for watching and have a great time. Bye.